what is going on guys dylan here coming at you guys with another youtube video and in today's video we are doing a video a little bit different from the chan from this channel that we've been usually doing and that is how to download mods on farming simulator 2019 now the reason why i'm doing this video is because if you guys don't know farming simulator is i believe it's like 45 percent off 40 percent off and you can get it right now for 15 dollars if you want off of steam now just to keep this in mind guys you can only do this on pc and pc only no ps4 no xbox or whatever other it's just pc now i'm pretty sure you can have it two ways you can have it on some other program or you can have it in steam same way for each and let's get into this video now there is um mods you can pre-download from farming simulator 2019 in the game but you can't download the really cool mods like the really cool trucks and stuff like that really from there so what you're gonna have to do is go to modnetwork.com link in the description below there's barely any ads um as you can see you can get mods for red dead redemption farming simulator euro truck simulator i'll probably have to check that out in snow runner um but we're gonna be doing farming simulator so we're just gonna have to click on that it's super simple guys so we're gonna so you can see i've already searched up and the reason why i'm doing this video guys is because i haven't really um found a good tutorial because usually they will show you how to get them all installed but won't show you what to do after that which i kind of got a little confused on but i figured it out um so we'll do we'll do like dodge something i haven't searched up yet and as you can see, we have the Dodge Challenger Y body, basically the Hellcat. And this looks like a super cool truck. So we'll probably do this one right here, the 3500. Um, we have all these trucks, as you can see, that you can download. We have different pages, but we are going to do this one right here, the 2000, 2003 Dodge Ram 3500. Um, this is the version of it, but we're going to download it. As you can see, we got our download right here. It's going to take a little bit depending on how big the size of the file is as you can see this is 120.57 megabytes and as you can see we are almost actually there already um kind of like freezes a little bit gotta wait till it's loaded now i have these books because i have winrar um renrar you do not need at all if you guys are just the normal file icon looking thing that is a, that is all okay i just have winrar for like minecraft mods and stuff like that but anyways guys so you're just gonna have to drag this to your dex desktop um, my bad and once you get it to your desktop as you can see um, here's our mod so we'll just put that out of the way and then here I'll move it all the way over here from my other stuff so you can see it better so here's our mod all you're gonna have to do is you gotta go to your files and then you gotta go to your documents my games and here's some other games I just had that I can like do mods for I guess but we want to click on farming simulator of course and then we have a folder called mods now this is not like minecraft not trying to get any confusing but in minecraft you have to actually make a mod folder you should already have one pre in there and this keep in mind i'm all doing this from steam i'm pretty sure if you bought the game in any other kind of way it this is the same way but as you can see here is our mod folder here is our uh file apparently sometimes uh you have to extract them on some of these a lot of them half the time you do not but if you do you just gotta click extract here and then you should have to let it load go through the whole process and there you go but anyways guys you're just gonna have to move it to your mod folder and as you see it's all in there guys as you see i've done a little bit of mods this one was actually through the game itself which i said you can do which actually goes in this mod folder which is really cool but anyway guys not gonna stop there we have a little bit more we have to do so let's go to our steam now keep in mind i just started playing this game like today and i figured this out and i think i should show it to you guys because a lot of things have maybe changed from the past but anyways guys load up your steam or whatever i'm not sure i don't think i have farming simulator as a shortcut yet just yet but i will get it soon up on there um as you can see here's farming simulator press play let it load up now you don't have to do anything really crazy when you get it in it um just gonna take a little bit to load i'm actually planning on maybe doing like videos on this game for you guys just because that would be something fun to really do i guess um let me actually turn down the volume for you guys so it's not so obnoxious or actually i'm probably just gonna turn it all the way down for you guys all right so what you guys have to do is go to your if you're gonna do multiplayer i have no idea how that stuff works so we're just gonna go to single player which is click on career now i already have like a 
no well, i don't have a set actually never quit without saving but we're gonna do start from scratch because that's how you start off with the most money you get to this um we'll go to this map i guess uh click continue we already got my character continue and as you can see here are our mods and as you can see right here 2003 dodge 3500 there it is guys um all right from there you gotta click start and it will load and once the game has loaded you'll have a little thing right here that click says click start you'll probably i missed it my first time you just gotta click start and then i'll bring you into the game and i'll tell you guys what to do on from there Alrighty, guys so we have loaded into our game and from here guys all you're gonna have to do is click on p and you have all these crazy things now, you're, now what i got confused is where's my cars at well you gotta go to your cars um and then there's obviously the game, first games but we have our four trucks we'll spawn in this one just because i haven't spawned it in yet eight thousand is pretty cheap but anyway guys we have our truck right here and we can change our rim colors we'll go for like a black i guess i guess it doesn't change main color we'll do i kind of like i don't know i've been seeing a lot of maroon ones so we'll do a maroon one and as you can see we can see our top speed and everything um for attachers i guess you can customize it a little bit all right so we have our gooseneck or we have our hitch or we can do both which we'll just do both it's free i guess um mirrors we want oh yeah there we go we want we want our folded up mirrors um from bumper colored matched which is pretty cool Ooh. this actually has some pretty cool customization We'll go with, I like this one a lot, cab lights. I mean, why not? Um, but anyway, guys, here's our total price, I guess. We'll just buy it straight out. Yep. Now it says you can fetch your item at the store. Um, we might have to walk over there because um, I started from scratch. But I'm going to check my map. Uh, the store is over here. So I'm going to run over there a quick sec, guys. And... Actually, I'll just follow it with, I'll just go there with you guys. Oh, a little bit of a leg spike floating in the map. Yeah, like I said, guys, I plan on doing a little bit of cool videos in this game just because I feel like doing more of a PC game, changing up. If you guys don't know, um, I've been playing a lot of the car games like the Crew 2 and Need for Speed and all that. And they just think nothing's been really going on with them, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure they're adding in like the DeLorean card to the crew too, which I'll probably be getting right when it comes out. But there it is, guys. There is our truck. Ooh, and she's looking good. Um, it's the Dodge Cummins. It's a really cool looking truck. As you see, enter your vehicle. Should is it already started? Uh, oh, we gotta start the engine itself. Mm, what? I don't know. What does it want me to do? Oh, enter. Um, didn't do that to me before. Uh, I'll get you guys to uh, turn up the volume so you guys can actually hear it. Hopefully you guys can hear it now. Um, but anyway, guys, here's the truck. As you see, it has working suspension and everything. It's really cool. Sounds like a Cummins loud, loud turbo. The only thing that's kind of annoying is its top speed is only 75. But this is a, this is more of like a, just a truck. Um, as you can see, we can look inside our truck. Steering wheel is super... It's, it's pretty realistic in these vehicles. I really like that. That's the cool thing. Our, our boost gauges do not work, sadly. At least I don't think. No, I don't think any of the gauges work. Sometimes you can get really realistic vehicles, guys. Where you can get the shifters to work and everything. Let's see if our horn works. If we got a horn and everything. Oh, don't hit that. But as you can see, guys. Oh, we're rolling coal like crazy, too, guys. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys today in today's video. This was just basically a video on like how you guys can actually like just download mods in this game just because it's, like I said, it, it was kind of confusing for me, but I hope you, this helped you guys out. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.